What is going on everybody, my fellow subscribers on YouTube and my Patreons on my channel. Um, I'm getting ready to go ahead and roll into this clip and show you guys what your money does and where it's going to. I told you guys earlier when I first started this that this is nothing to do with, oh, I'm trying to get money and trying to do this to try to up myself. I have a lucrative career. I'm doing great. I'm taking care of my family. We're all doing good. But what I'm going to do is like I told a lot of my patrons, so I'm, I'm saying this to the YouTube uh, subscribers as well. The ones that's been pledging on Patreon, I let them know when I personally write them, they get to see where their money goes. I know we've seen like shows before, you know, like I told y'all before, they show like the little kid in Africa with honey in his eye and they let the fly go there and get all in his eye and they want you to donate this money. I did put this video together to show y'all that these are real people. These are real people that I personally know that I, that I, this like this person you can really see, that is a personal friend of mine who was, uh, who worked with me. So again, um, we we got we got away from Florida before all this stuff hit. I'm totally fine. I'm great. Yeah, we might have lost some stuff down there, whatever like that. But the thing is, is that they're still there, left there to deal with it. They got the heat, the humidity, the mosquitoes, and all that. And some of them are still staying in homes that like pretty much are they're really not homes. They barely have roofs. They had to put like tarps and stuff over them to keep the if it does rain or even keep the sun out of there. So anyway, uh, to my patrons, I thank y'all so much from the bottom of my heart for y'all giving and all this because this money went towards helping somebody like this. This person right here, I trust him with my bean. This is a person that he's going to be able to take the money and use it adequately as he see fit. Again, in this video, you're going to see he's going to try to first help his brother and his sister out. But at the same time, whatever it is that you guys give, I'll be able to give that to him. And then also I'm giving my money as well to him. And what they'll be able to do is that if he knows he's an honest guy, an honest guy, if he knows that there's anybody else that's within the uh, community that definitely can use the money, especially ones, like I said, I told y'all, they're not at the top of the tier, the ones that are CNAs or housekeeping, uh, people that or environmental services like that. So a lot of them, they don't really have none. They just kind of sitting at home and having to walk and go get food from some of the local places there. But at the same time, the biggest thing is gas. They we only use this money pretty much to get gas so they can power their generators or whatever like that. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys see this. And you guys can, uh, again, my patrons, thank y'all so much. You get to see where your money is going to. Hey, Ty. I just literally picked up the money you donated to my family. I want to thank the patrons also that have helped donate a little bit. I money or power back on and I've been thinking about what to do with the money and I'm going to give it to my brother and my sister-in-law that lost everything They're right now back at the house them with me and my mom. Okay, so you guys see that this is why I say it does not matter. I don't care. There's different tiers on there. I don't care if you place at the dollar tier or the $30 tier or the $20 tier. Also, y'all, just in case y'all didn't notice, you don't necessarily have to give a dollar. You can give $2, $3, it's whatever. It's like a, a dollar to four gives you that first tier. $5 to $9 gives you that second tier. So um, anyway... I'm, I'm giving my money anyway. The thing is that my whole thing, you guys see how I am with my uh, YouTube page and all that. Me, I, I, I love human beings, period. You know, I'm sitting in a, a place where I'm comfortable, got the power, got the toilet run, I can go there and flush my toilet. A lot of them cannot do that, you know, so, and this is here in America. You know, that's why I always say a lot of times too, when I see commercials about them wanting money to go to Africa and things like that, my biggest thing is I, I have no problems with people doing that, but what about us here? What about America here? And for this to hit home where I'm from, you know, this, I, I can't help it. You know, my biggest thing is, y'all see I talk about the four pillars. 
food, clothing, shelter, and great health. That's the number one thing that I care about with any human beings, period, because in the end, that's all that matters. There, a lot of them got food, a lot of them got clothing, a lot of them got their health, but they may not have shelter. So I'm doing my best to make sure that they can all have those four pillars right there. As long as I know that I got money to maintain me and my family and I got money to take care of those four pillars, other than that, guys, I mean, I can go spend $50 easily going to get me something to eat or take my family out to eat. Although we got food at home, I got money where we can go out and do recreational things. But why would I do that knowing that my friends down back here in Panama City are suffering? So, you know, that's why I did it. So, again, I'm not doing this to try to pull y'all into something to get, make y'all, oh, my God, I'm about to just give them all my money because I know everybody has their boundaries. I know that everybody has issues. I know some of you guys, y'all talk to me personally. I know that y'all got stuff going on at home. I know some of y'all are single mothers with four or five kids. I know that some of y'all are on disability and all that good stuff like that. If that's you, I swear to you. I am not asking any of you to give. I am not. I'm just saying only give if you feel compelled to because a dollar can go a long way, especially if you're talking about just getting some gas or something like that. But uh, anyway, um, I'm glad you guys were able to see that. You were able to see where your money went to. Again, to my patrons, thank you guys for your pledges. To my subscribers, thank you guys for listening and seeing this. I'm not asking you to go on my Patreon page and pledge anything like that at all. That's if you feel the need to do it. If y'all know anybody back in y'all states, in y'all home, in y'all communities, anything like that, you can show them this video and you can see proof that I'm doing this for somebody. And like I said, at the same time, when people do receive something, I ask that they only show a video and thank the patrons or anybody that donated so y'all can see that this is real and that I'm not some crook trying to take somebody's money or anything like that because I already know flags can go up. I'm a skeptical myself. But at the same time, this is helping somebody for real and they know that I'm not lying. These people will call me out with all the social media and all that. It's easy to get buzzed. So you guys already know that if I'm being fake about this or if I'm not real, somebody's going to be able to get a hold of them and say, this is what Tyler Smith actually did with the money. This is what Ty Smith actually did with this thing. Or you have somebody on there saying, he didn't give us anything. He didn't pledge nothing. He didn't give that money to the patrons. So anyway, guys, again, this is a community of love about building people up. This is what we're doing. Let them see that there is some people out there that actually do love them, even though y'all don't necessarily have to know them. Y'all know that's the message that I push. I'm going to quit jabbing on, and I just want to say again, Thank you guys so much for pledging. Thank you guys for whoever's getting ready to get jump, possibly jump on there because they've seen this and become a Patreon pledge and a dollar, whatever like that. And also, again, thank you if, you, if you're if you going to possibly get somebody in your community, family, them involved in just even just donating something to you so you can donate to that so we can help them out because it's something they're facing every day. And again, thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. This is Ty Smith, my Renaissance man. You're ready to check out. I hope you guys all have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I hope and pray that every last one of you guys are in great health. Let's keep this thing rolling, guys. God bless you all and my friends in Panama City. In Jesus' name.